Ripple and XRP beat the SEC. They did it, family. They did it. I remember the moment on December 20th, 2020. I was actually quarantined. And I started getting messages from all over the world. JV, XRP, Jay Clayton just initiated a case against Ripple. And my state, statement was, I'm holding on like a tick on a dog. And yesterday was a historical moment. You as an XRP holder or somebody getting into cryptocurrency now hold an asset that is the first in history in the cryptocurrency ecosystem that has complete regulatory clarity. My name is Coach JV. What I work to do is to work to make macro and microeconomic complex strategies very simple so the normal everyday person can activate to transform their family's life. But remember, you must rewire the foundation to end up in a different situation. Rich parents have rich kids, poor parents have poor kids. You have to rewire your indoctrination. So I have two tools for you. We've helped over 7,000 people since 2020. And since I launched my insurance company, we've helped hundreds of people ensure their wealth. So number one resource are two different things. Number one is the free 16 page guide, absolutely free on how I built my ecosystem. Number two in the description down below the video or in the link in my social media platform is to set up a free one-on-one, -on -one, absolutely free one-on-one -on -one consultation with my licensed insurance team. And we teach you how we insure our wealth. We compound and grow. When you put your money into a bank, the banks insure, compound, and grow your wealth with a third party. But well, we do the same thing banks do. We insure, compound, and grow our wealth, guaranteeing our principal. So you can set up a free consultation to see maybe you have an old 401k or you're worried about your 401k or you have some cash sitting in the bank. Remember, cash is trash. We just give you options in different ways. There's many different ways other than index universal life, things like annuities, all kinds of different products to have a conversation to make sure that your family is set up for the future. All right, so let's dive right into it. So SEC and Ripple, or excuse me, XRP and Ripple beat the SEC. So you know what I like to do is I like to pay attention to what they're saying. When they're looking this way, there's a whole nother narrative going on this way. Family, this is not by chance. This is not by chance, family, that Israel was invaded on October 7, 2023. Hawaii, boom, nobody's talking about it anymore. All of a sudden, Boom, we're going to World War III. I told you guys, I've been telling you this forever. When you look this way, they switch the whole monetary system this way. So it's not by chance that this case is ending now. It's not by chance that this man right here, we're going to pay attention to right now, is starting to change his verbiage. It's not by chance that Larry Fink this week said that crypto is a flight to safety now, which I'm going to show you. And then boom, a day later, a day later, they dropped the case against Ripple giving XRP the only clarity. So the question I'm getting all over social media is, JV, is it too late? Absolutely not. You think about this. You to receiving that letter. You are a small, small percentage of the population. You're perfectly on time. Now get your shit together. <laughs> Let's check this out. Uh, last week, something else that happened last week or rather didn't happen was the SEC acting to appeal a court ruling from August in the Grayscale case. Grayscale, of course, trying to convert GBTC into a spot ETF. I know you can't comment on ongoing litigation, but should we still be considering that ongoing litigation given that lack of appeal at this point? And if not, what happens next? Wait, didn't you just say that you knew I wasn't going to comment on the litigation, but let me just say. But is it still ongoing since so, you didn't appeal? We, you don't comment on anything, my friend. You don't comment on anything. Didn't appeal last Friday. I think that's accurate. Um, so you could but, still in the but, future in another but, form. But what we have in. Completely ignored her. He said we didn't appeal last Friday. That gives me a hint that the, the, the approval is coming. And he goes right over. She said, but you can still appeal. And he goes right over it. Okay, pay attention front of us, just so that the viewing public understands we have not one, but multiple, I think it's eight or 10 filings that the staff and ultimately the commission is considering for what's called exchange traded products for, mm -hmm. for Bitcoin to be in a, in a, in a security. So but I thought Bitcoin was used for money laundering guys, which one is it? But we know what's happening. We know what we own. We know what's going on. So John Deaton, I love this. So the wolf of Wall, the wolf of all streets, excuse me. He said the language and tone have changed. Exactly what I was saying. Approval of Bitcoin spot ETF is coming. And John Deaton said, Scott is correct. I'm someone who has said, I wouldn't be surprised if the SEC wrote a long dissertation citing data and anecdotal evidence denying spot BTC ETF again. 
that wasn't part of the SEC's original denial that has been deemed arbitrary and I can't pronounce that word an appellate court at Gary Gensler could have used this opportunity like he has in the past to bash Bitcoin and being used to fund terrorism, criminal activity, but he didn't. I could be wrong, but I attribute it to the court loss coupled with Larry Fink's effect. Gensler only cares about the majority incumbents donors. So let me let me decode this. Okay. So basically what he's saying, just like we reported yesterday with Larry Fink now saying that cryptocurrency is a flight to safety. Remember Larry Fink, he's the president and CEO of this of the United States. So is Jamie Dimon. And now he's following their lead. Follow the money flow, guys. So now they went from cryptocurrencies of fraud to it is a flight to safety. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth once again. When was the first you've heard about this rumor? And, and what did Actually, you Actually, I was busy all day. I probably heard it an hour ago. So Now pay attention. This was all came out a day ago. And then, boom, what did we hear yesterday? Which I'm going to show you. It wasn't. Yeah, well, it was, we should point out Ellie Tourette, my producer, broke the story that it was not real. But it's like wishful thinking. Isn't it? Isn't this what this is all about? Well, I can't talk about the specifics of anything. I think it just... Nor can Gary Gensler, nor can you, but you guys can talk behind the scenes as you get set up. It's an example of the pent-up interest in crypto. And I and we are hearing from clients around the world about the need for crypto. I mean, when you think about... I think Six years ago, you said nobody was even asking you about it. Some of this rally is way beyond the rumor. I think the... The rally today is about a flight to quality with all the, you know, all the issues around the Israeli war now, um, global terrorism. And I think there's more people running into a flight to quality, whether that is in treasuries, gold or crypto, depending Boom. on. Boom. There you go. War, new monetary system. War, new innovation. War, post-war economics, guys. It's the same pattern over and over again, but you finally figured it out. You're the one that's going to shift your family's timeline. Congratulations. Kudos to you. You know, comment down below generational shifter because that's what you are. And then yesterday, one day after all that, that noise where all of a sudden Larry Fink flips his narrative. Now, Get, uh, Gary Gantz is like, oh, well, we never said we're not going. We're going to appeal it. We have eight to nine. It's on the table now. And then boom, SEC drops charges against Ripple executives, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson in ongoing XRP litigation. It's done, family. And then um, uh, Edo Far Farinia. Sorry, for, I have dyslexia, so my, my pronunciations of names are horrible. I love his content. But he posted this yesterday. France Central Bank uh, has openly discussed Ripple XRP as potential platform for the European Central Bank digital currency. So if you go here, it says, note, France's Central Bank, Bank of de France, has openly discussed Ripple XRP as possible platform for Europe's central digital currency. I haven't changed my narrative, guys, since the moment I started my channel. You haven't seen my narrative go up. It hasn't gone down. It stayed steady the whole time. And how do I do that? I am not emotional about these markets because of my diversification. Cryptocurrency to me is still a very, very speculative asset because of these crazy people that mess with our emotions up, down. But I taught my warriors when everybody's looking this way to turn your head as hard as you can this way. But you have to unindoctrinate yourself from the system. So if you didn't come from wealth or you didn't come from a wealthy family, you have to rewire the foundation because it doesn't matter how much money you make in XRP, doesn't matter how much money you make in Bitcoin. If you don't rewire the foundation and understand how money moves through the system, you will end up in the exact same situation. Jim Rohn said it. I believe it was Jim Rohn. He said, if you give a million dollars to every single person in society, it'll end up back up in the same 1% hands. Study, think and grow rich. Understand the mechanisms of money. To understand what magnetism is, get down to the origin of what you're learning. So if you believe in a religion or you believe in some doctrine, understand the origin of that doctrine. Understand what you believe. If your government tells you something, understand why they're telling you that. If they tell you to look this way, understand why they're telling you to look that way. That's how I manage my whole life, all my relationships. I get to origin very, very quickly, which is giving me peace, family structure, and financial, spiritual, and mental freedom. I'm not trying to change you. I'm only trying to get my shit together. So when I say warriors, rise, get your shit together. I'm looking in a mirror. It's me against me. I can run to Puerto Rico. I can run to Dubai and try to pay less taxes. But guess what? What am I running for? I'm staying solid where I'm at right now. I'm building a rock solid foundation. 
I am a citizen of the earth. God is my present seal and I follow the principles of Jesus and I get my shit together on a daily basis. And I want to do it with you, family, like minded individuals. But congratulations. This is a big congratulations for us. I'll get off my soapbox. Congratulations to you if you're brand new watching this video and you're interested in dabbling in this new way of life. Uh, congratulations to you if you've been here since 2020, since the case was initiated on December 20th, 2020. And now here you are. This is a victory for you. But another thing I want to share with you guys is you're going to get comments down below. And this is why you need to read the book, Intelligent Investor. People be like, well, it's not pumping to $10. It's not how it works, family. There's very few people that even know what XRP is. There's very few people who even know what Ripple is, guys. We're paying attention to it. The normal everyday person sees this pop on the news and sees, you know, um, Larry Fink on there. They're not even thinking about this. Go walk down the street and ask 10 people what XRP is. I guarantee zero will say anything. When you're in the environment, it seems massive, but you're a small, small percentage of the population. So congratulations. Congratulations. But you have to have a game plan, Warriors. Crypto is a very speculative investment. When a speculative investment goes parabolic from 2024 to 2025, you have to have an exit plan because you want to secure, compound, and grow that wealth. So the things I use is crypto. I insure my wealth with leveraged life insurance. It may not work for you, but it works for me so much that I got licensed and created a team. We're in the fastest growing teams right now. We have precious metals. I just got some more silver. We have real estate. We're going into real estate. We're going vertical and department complexes with our 506Bs next year. And then am I missing anything? Crypto oh, business, business. We're heavy in business. And number one is my self-development relationship with God, which makes me the wealthiest man in the world. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. As we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go. All those resources, free one-on-one -on -one with my insurance team down below and the free book on exactly how I built this blueprint. Talk to you soon.